This is a parasternal long view of a patient came with shortness of breath. Um, you can tell that the ejection fraction seems to be intact. I want you to focus on this thing here. This is some calcification, which makes it um, the transfer of blood from the left atrium into the left ventricle, either that they're stenotic, and the point is it's tough to get into the left ventricle, or there's regurge. Um, you can then tell the left um, ventricle compared to the right, and the right is definitely much bigger. So to me, this is someone who has um, more diastolic heart failure. This is the IVC view, and you need to see the IVC as it enters the right atrium. Uh, the teaching is that you need to be at the point where the hepatic veins enter into the IVC, but it also could be just three millimeters away from the right atrium. This is an example of a different patient, but this shows you what I need to see. This is the hepatic vein right here, and this is the area you want to look at. This is the uh, right atrium. So even if you didn't see the hepatic veins enter into the IVC, at least it's a good view on where you can view everything. So this is what I want to see, um, and this is the part where you want to look and see if the IVC is collapsing or not. So compare this with with the clip here, and you can see that you don't have the heart in view, nor do I see the hepatic veins enter into the IVC. So um, thanks for saving. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.